Don't ever let them hurt you in any way. Or never let them steal and take the best of you. Keep building cities from the ground. We rise and we the way. It's Kelpiva. Don't ever let them hurt you. No way to open window because of black suit. Everywhere, the thing they disturb. If you keep water, before you know, even in your house, you must cover the water. If you don't cover the water, before you know, black suit don't set you. You must cover everything. You know, we fit maintain white cloth for this our side because of what the black suit. And even the government, individual, we know where this black suit is coming from. They should stop both fire. They should know the uh, crazy is killing people. They did not provide for filling station. The youth need to be empowered and have a job, have something doing. Than hunting for all those kind of rubbish job. It's not really good for us and our health. You know, each one of us, each one of us, we need each other. We need each other. Nigeria, with a population of about 200 million, is one of the top countries rich in petroleum and river state of about 7 million population is acclaimed as its petroleum treasure base. That natural endowment of the black gold has of late become its scariest undoing. The unhealthy and undesirable black particles and air pollution over rivers residents. The suiting of river state. It is a death agent unhealthy to man and his environment. You go clean house now, 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 now. Before they go break the place, if they work yourself, you go they see her for all under your leg. Everywhere go black. Go fire them, where then they. The thing worry well, well. Plenty people don't talk about this black suit well, well. So, if we live well with technology and with development, developmental plants, all these things not going to happen to our people. Everywhere is dark. You know, we fit maintain white cloth for this our side because of what? The black suit. And even the government, individual, we know where this black suit is coming from. And how we will take eradicate this black suit or stop them not to do because most of the people, that is their source of living. I think it's all this uh, fire stuff is what is bringing all these things. And it's really bad to our health. It's a challenge to our health, to, t to tell you the truth. When, okay, if this is such a thing that happens to a small kid, like how will you know that a child is suffering from such a thing? You will not know, but it's only adults that can discover that. Because of no job, so boys of these days, they are looking for what to eat. They are hungry. That was why they decided to go and make all this... Uh, get their own refineries in order to produce uh, kerosene and fuel and all those things to help themselves. Nobody is supporting coal fire issues, but the people are hungry. I must tell you, today now, even if a bottle of kerosene, the coal fire kerosene to that, I'm talking to you now, it's almost 700. Walking in the marketplace, down trolls, down, even if you do, you just... In the light of this environmental threat brought upon the residents of River State and its environs, very few selfish minds with grossly distasteful parochial interests, it naturally calls for stakeholder rationalization over the situation and commitment to reversal approaches. A scholarly attempt at addressing the situation reasons along the following. Should our blessings in black gold be our undoing? Who are the perpetrators of the death agent? The suit, what do they want? Who should regulate and enforce checks and deterrent sanctions on offenders against our humanity and environment in the geographical location of River State? What are the sustainable solutions to stopping the suit over River State and preserving the environment? Obviously, nature has a veiled and bequeathed man a safe and balanced environment, but man alters, destroys, and endangers his environment by their activities. Conversely, the sustainability of the environment is squarely a multi-stakeholder responsibility of the residents of River State, specifically on the fact that clean air is not an optional policy objective. It's a fundamental human right. Everyone needs to breathe clean air. The billions of people today are breathing dirty, deadly air constitutes a global health, environmental, and human rights crisis. It was therefore not out of place that at the launch of the Sustainable Development Goals, Target 3.9, clearly stated that by 2030, 
stakeholders should substantially commit to reduce the number of deaths and illnesses from hazardous chemicals and air, water, soil pollution and contaminants. This is one of the drives of the rivers network of NGOs Ring us. It is no more news that air pollution, especially soot, black soot on the air quality index in River State particularly, was a challenge. It posed a lot in terms of impact. It was a huge challenge to the communities, huge challenge to our children and youth, huge challenge to our women. It was one case that became global. And with support from the Act British Council, the Rivers Network of NGOs worked in collaboration with government, all arms of government, legislator, um, judiciary, and executive, towards ensuring that we bring this suit to an end, to save the lives of many. And how did this happen? So through the support that we received from the European Union, we were able to first of all carry out a baseline research because there was no foundational baseline research. And this baseline research provided empirical data that indeed Suit had a huge impact on the people of River State in different ways. On students, it stopped many students from going to school because they were now used for. environment suits mainly as you know is something we inhale and naturally one of the first places that the suits uh, the first organs that the foot will affect is the lungs can also lead to what is known as acute uh, bronchitis that's inflammation of the bronchus which is still in the lungs besides the lungs it can also affect the heart okay and also can cause irritation of the throat, leading to cough. And the thing they block our nose, it, they give us a kind of uh, unpleasant feeling inside us. When you go cough, you go see something black. You know there's something wrong. They go on inside you. At times, thing they make some of us with a vomit. Children go, they cough, katane they go. At times, they will put hand for small picking nose. Black suit don't gather for the picking nose. When you open your window, you see all those black, black things coming out. And when you are sleeping, you get up in the morning. When you put your nose on the on your hand or handkerchief, you see black black suit. But the only thing that is disturbing is for little children. Come walk a mile in my shoes. See if you smile at the truth. See if you digest your food. That's when you might have a clue. A background analysis of the soot air pollution river states as a precursor for solutions reveals a situation wherein out of river state population, adults and adolescents aged 15 to 64 years account for 61% of the population in the state, which also constitutes the potential productive population. With marked high unemployment rate from this population, the highly lucrative, sought-after and needed petroleum products have been reported to have lured some unemployed youths into illegal artisanal refining of crude oil gotten from the land as a way of making ends meet. And the adverse effects of the byproducts range from various degrees of ailments to further environmental degradation. So while some youths who engage in this deadly and self-destructive act, as well as some residents who may patronize them by justification and the fact that it is a desperate means to an end by which people are making a living, the entire population is inadvertently victims of the same circumstance, a death agent in the environment suit. For any woman that goes through the pain of carrying babies for nine months and the eventual
for childbirth, even raising up children. It is heartrending to carelessly lose one's child to avoidable environmental pollutants. Yet in the midst of such troubling danger, women and children are often vulnerable, weaker and mere victims as the men who are predominant perpetrators and have a stronger voice and influence in their society either shut them up or do not heed to their plight and cries. Here, the heart cry can be felt as the land voices. See, as children they die, are we to blame them? Our government made them go do our refineries. Let them hold those that are suffering the masses accountable. Why is it that they don't go live here, then they go go overseas, go enjoy? They should act fast to make sure they bring all these boys together. Put them in groups, if it is cooperative, kind of. Then the government should sponsor. Or if the government cannot sponsor, private sector. Who they cook that in a daily, they know how much they are making. Then in this case, if you stop this man now, you kill more than 20 houses. Then did not provide for filling station. Then uh, they say suit or what? Was everything that they are calling it a suit. Now, filling station, you know, see. Where do we get it? The only thing we are begging the, the governors to do something for the masses. That is what we are begging for because things are getting out of hand. We are not talking of food items. It's causing a lot of um, health hazards to other people. So we try to reorientate them. We try to tell them, make them understand that the activities of illegal refining affects everyone, even them, even their families. Um, the youth thought that illegal bunkery was a great beneficiary to them, that is their pockets and helping them make money. But now they've come to discover that it's actually harming them harming their life and harming their health as a whole. Yes, there may be high unemployment rates amongst the youth in River State. Yes, they may desperately need constructive industrial engagements, which is lacking there. Most definitely, the engagement of some youth in illegal crude oil refining and bunkering is not the best way to go in the best interest of all. Experts say it requires a multi-stakeholder rationalization approach commitment and political will to drive the holistic strategies that will actualize the desired responsibility and responsiveness to the environmental challenges in River State and change the narrative. In that vein, while Ringos commends the recent efforts of the River State government at forestalling the illegal at Sino refining of crude oil in River State, it craves the indulgences of the government and stakeholders to further strengthen gains therefrom by a holistic commitment to multifaceted solutions and sustainable clean air for, for the citizenry of the state and beyond. The paradigm model stipulated by the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals is key pointer in that regards. From the several feedbacks, the political leadership of River State in particular and Nigeria in general, beyond rhetorics, should majorly recommit to implementation of industrialization strategies that are environmentally friendly while facilitating the creation of massive industries that will afford their teeming unemployed youths legitimate gainful employment. If an a local man, which is an illiterate, can be able to refine crazy locally, bring a diesel locally and create, uh, uh, even the fuel we're using locally. That person is a material for the government to look at. Oh, yeah, come. This is your brain. Let's make it. What do we need? How will they capture the gas that is wasting to become useful to the country and every human being so that we will not go feed the helam and they die this unnecessary die. Government, now they drive development first before the private sector they follow. Government when get policy for the betterment of the people, now they do development first. Now then they drive development before private people go come follow. This crazy is 500 and that same jerry can of crazy, 12,000. Uh, before I say the cost? Before it was 6,000, but now you have had price. How can somebody start up a little business before you know it, 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 it lack because you don't have any resources to help yourself? Them are the richest enjoying themselves. Let them help us. The suffering is too much. They all know, but because of, the, because of maybe their own personal interest. Are you getting me? Because of their own personal interest, they can't be able to do that. If we watch, we have refinery in River State, good and fine, but I don't think it's functioning well. Our children, they don't see work. Now I make them, they go cook that thing. If true, true, then they cook that thing. Because work no day. People will go school, come back, no work. 
People will finish university, even people will get handwork, no work. So instead of them go there like that, I believe now I make them they go do that thing. I think if government can bring our money, possibly work the refineries, all our refineries, just try and fix them. If you are able to, if they are able to fix these refineries, at least it will help also to absorb some of these boys that are jobless. Education, particularly environmental education, is critically important as a strategic tool to create more awareness about the dangers of engaging in all sustainable development. Action for the environment is urgent, is immediate, is critical. The coal fire business and its environmental pollution is felt in every nook and cranny of the state. And so the young and the old are well aware of the problems of black suit and to show support and solidarity for this noble initiative. The Center for Development Support Initiative, as well as the Ringos, has been a long-time partner of the Ministry of Education to support improved quality of teaching. I, I, I pledge to support, pledge to support a, clean environment, a clean environment, a clean society, a, clean society, a zero suit environment, earth restoration, river state restoration, and the promotion of environmental sustainability. So help me God. So far, as part of the case, project, Ringos has advocated for clean air legislation, establishing air quality monitoring networks, quantifying the main sources of air pollution through our baseline research, engaging and informing the public through our advocacy, enacting strong laws, regulations and air quality standards through our... We're able to build a legislative advocacy process and we're able to work on promoting climate literacy through building the capacity of young people to set up and manage their clubs called the Climate Action Clubs, which is a promotion of club governance. So far, we have been able to achieve this. And to cap it all, so we can have empirical evidence that indeed things are happening. Indeed, cities are becoming cleaner. Indeed, communities are becoming healthier. We're able to launch the Zero Suit app. And through the Zero Suit app, one is able to now say, yes, a particular community is the best community in, in, in River State or a particular local government is the best local government in River State because we have empirical evidence that they sustained a clean clean and healthy air for the period under review. The industry should also be monitored. Okay, so some of these things will go a long way. And as, uh, probably education. We need to inform our younger ones, probably from primary school, secondary schools up down to the universities so we are that we inform them about the dangers of suit so that at the, from the early stage they begin to incorporate that habit of ensuring that we have a green and clean environment to ensure that every learner is equipped with the knowledge skills values and attitudes to tackle climate change and promote sustainable development we're able to also provide you know the tracker to be able to track events concerning suits and record it and post as such so that women and youths as well as communities are empowered informed and they will participate actively in their own development process so we are moving from the challenge and preferring solutions that is exactly what the act british council project has been doing so far so in terms of responses in terms of responses it is now clear to each and every one of us that suit affecting one affects all so the uh, addressing suit becomes a collective responsibility the purpose of this project is to increase support for and the participation of all arms of government, CSOs, CBOs, and youths to accelerate action to tackle the most pressing environmental problems, air pollution, inadequate knowledge, and skills in environmental protection. It is the business of all residents in River State, and it is in our best interest. 
the monsters you made I bet they thought it was cool Probably thought we was fools When we would break all the rules And skip them classes in school Because the teacher them teaching What the white man them teaching Them European teeth That's how they fire with a night Yeah, they been lying to you Ain't no denying the truth See what I'm trying to do It's joy the life of the mothers crying with die.